So let me ask you, after you left here, do you have any alcohol? I, I had a drink about four hours ago. No, no, I'm saying after the crash. After the crash, no, sir. Just one drink, nothing else, right? It was a vodka, so it was lime. Was it a huge vodka, no, no, like... I think it was a little bigger than normal. Okay. I don't think it was huge, though. Probably about two ounces. And you didn't take any drugs or any medication? Absolutely or not. I am no I'm either. not even a hypochondriac, so if I, if I take anything, I'm scared that my heart's going to stop. Yeah. That's fair. You're going to affect my credit? Your credit is good. Eh? My record? It's, listen, as well, of now, you're being charged with a traffic misdemeanor. Okay, whether you're found guilty or not, that's to be determined. And how long does this stay on my record for? I can I can that for you. Thank That's you for answering my questions. The best to your ability. You don't have any friends. He doesn't have any friends? No, I'm not allowed to have friends. Because of him or because of your parents? A lot of things. I stay in jail for eight hours, correct? Well, you, listen, we'll be in jail the whole time, okay? <laughs> the clock's already started. Okay, okay, sir. So every minute you stay in here ticks off that eight hours, okay? Okay, sir. The drive over there, which is going to be about 15 minutes, the clock ticks off that time, okay? You're going to go into a holding cell for a little bit while I do my paperwork, and then you'll go into the actual jail. But it will be eight hours from, call it 10 o'clock. Yes, sir. So you will be out at about 6 a.m.? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there any way I can sponge it from my record? That's all legal questions. I can't answer that. Thank you for answering any questions huh? I had. I can't. It's fucked up. Give me a turn. Come stand in front of my car. Okay. Here's your car. Right here. But, give me a turn. Stay over here for a second. USA. Is there a routine 94 coming up? So, this is what I do. Okay? This isn't even the worst crash I've seen. It is so bad. It, it, listen, as long as you're okay. I've been in one garage and it was at the gas station and I fucked up my car. Let me ask you something. Exactly what happened to you. There was a door and they cut me off and I didn't know where to go and I went there. <laughs> So I thought I could turn there so and not an hour hill. Where were you coming from? I was coming from 10th Avenue okay. on West Palm Beach. Okay. I took I took Hopper Hill all the way down, and then I came here, okay. and then I was supposed to turn onto Hopper Hill. But instead of turning onto Hopper Hill, some car cut me off, and I came into here. Okay. Huh? You guys are just I have my car. I'm sorry, I don't have shoes in his car. <laughs> He was the first person I called. Just bring it down. Not it's not okay. So, what, you were trying to turn on to Haverhill or turn off No. I was coming from 10th Avenue, and I took Haverhill all the way down. Okay. And I turned on to here, which, which is, is Hypolux. Okay. Hypolux oh, okay. And I was supposed to turn on from Hypolux that went to Haverhill. But some car cut me off when I was in this lane, and I went into here because I had nowhere else to go. I'm going to ask you again to come in front of my car Absolutely. and so I can talk to you a little more. Absolutely. Just hang out over here for me, okay, boy? Just stand right there for me. Like, stand right about there on my light. And go ahead, turn and face me. And just kind of keep your, your feet together like this. Okay. This is your car? This is my car. It's registered to you? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And you live so before we go any further. Absolutely. Okay. I am completing the traffic crash, okay? Yeah. Yes. Not allowing to do any traffic crash, okay? But as a DUI investigator, I am starting a criminal investigation. Absolutely. And you have to ask Linda to know about that. So before we go into that, I do have to read you some rights. Absolutely. Okay? Just so you understand it. Absolutely. 
Were you injured at all in the crash? Do you have I'm not injured. Were you wearing your seatbelt? I was wearing my seatbelt. Can you start, just pull your can you pull your shirt over a little bit so I can So, before I go any further, Absolutely. Okay, I'm required to warn you before you make any statement that you have the following constitutional rights. You have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. You understand that? Absolutely. Okay. Any statement you make must be freely and voluntarily given. You understand that? I understand that. Okay. You have the right to the presence and representation of a lawyer. It's your choice before you make any statement to bring any questions. Statement you just read. Okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer, during the interview, you do not wish to answer any questions. You are privileged to remain. Do you understand that? I do understand that. Any statement can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand that? I do understand that. Okay. So your name is Samantha, correct? My name is Samantha Jones. Samantha Jones, okay. And uh, I just want to confirm. Okay. Were you coming to visit him? I was coming to visit my boyfriend. Okay, yeah. okay. So where were you coming from originally? I know you said West Palm. So Palmer, West Palm Beach. But where in West Palm? I came from First Avenue, okay. and I turned on there, and I was supposed to go to 16th Court North. Okay. So I came there, I visited my friend. After that, I was supposed to go back, and I took Congress all the way back until I got to Haver Hill. I turned on to Haver Hill, and then as I turned on to Haver Hill, I was supposed to turn on to Hypoluxo. Okay. And as I turned on to Hypoluxo, I was supposed to turn on to Haver Hill, okay. which would take me into the Winter Trails back gate. Okay, so you were trying there's to go three, to the trail. Yes, there's three different gates. There's a back gate on Haver Hill, right. a side gate on Hypoluxo, okay. and a main gate on Jog, Jog Road. Okay, so you were trying to go into Winston Trails, not yes, into sir. Riverman. Yes, sir. So he was... Were you injured at all in this traffic? Track? Absolutely not. I just have really high... No, I have my <laughs> I have my inhaler here because whenever I get into situations like this, I sometimes need to use it, but I'm not injured at all, just mentally. Okay. 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 I'm not yelling at you. Okay. Absolutely. Just try to keep it. I am. Have you taken any illegal drugs tonight? No, sir. Have you smoked any marijuana? Tonight? No, sir. How much alcohol do you have tonight? Nothing. Nothing. About four hours ago, I had a drink. That's it. Okay. So you have had alcohol tonight? There should be nothing in my system. Okay. But you have had alcohol yes, tonight? Yes, sir. Okay. Because, and the reason I'm asking, okay, is while I'm standing here talking to you, okay, you're swaying a little bit, okay, which is abnormal, and I can smell the odor of alcohol coming from you. Absolutely, sir. So I know at some point you had alcohol tonight. Absolutely, okay. sir. So, four hours ago, Absolutely, home. sir. What did you have to drink? I had a vodka and soda because I'm on a keto diet, so I had to keep my sugars and carbs low, so I had a vodka and soda. Okay. Just one? Just one. Okay. Where at? I had it at Southern Batch Tap in West Palm Beach in Clematis. If you're doing keto, have you had anything else you eat tonight? I had a Caesar salad, but it was really bad for me to eat most of it. Okay. okay. <laughs> and you said that was all about four hours ago? Yes, sir. Without looking at your watch or your phone or anything, can you tell me about what time you think it is right now? 9.30. So, here's what I would like to do, okay? Because as I kind of advise you, I'm a little concerned. Absolutely, concerned. I understand so your concern. Okay, so what I would like to do is conduct a voluntary field sobriety test for the purposes of determining that. Okay. I am absolutely ready to do your voluntary field sobriety okay. test. Okay, so here's what we're going to do is go ahead and turn around. Yes, sir. No, no, stay, stay right where you are. Just face me. Right, right here, right here. Stay on my leg. Face me. Face me. There you go. Put your feet together. Actually, do you mind if I take your purse? Absolutely. Do you want me to give it to your boyfriend or just put it on the car? Do whatever you need to do with I, it. I'm asking you. It's your purse. Uh, do whatever, whatever you need to do with it. Okay, you don't mind if he takes it? I don't care what you do with it. 
So, feet together, hands down by your side. Okay. I want you to remain in this position throughout the demonstration and the task. And the Absolutely. Okay? So, do you have anything wrong with your eyes that's not corrected by corrective lenses? I've never been fully tested. Okay. But every time I have an eye test, something red shows up in my eyes when they okay. take a picture. Okay. I don't have any diagnosis okay, for anything. Okay, nothing diagnosed. Okay. Absolutely. Are you wearing contacts right now? No, sir. Okay. Do you have any inner ear infections, anything like that? I think because I'm sick, maybe, okay. but no. Okay. Not anything diagnosed. Okay. And are you diabetic, epileptic, narcoleptic, anything it's, like that? So, do you see the tip of my pen? I do, it's red. Okay. So what I want you to do, okay, is without moving your head, keeping your nose pointed towards mine, I want you to follow the tip of my pen with your eyes and your eyes alone. Do you understand? I do understand, sir. So it's going to look like this, okay? See how my... No, no, no. No, my face, just, just my just, eyes. Just watch me, okay? I'm going to demonstrate, okay? So see how my eyes move with the pen? That's what I want you to do. You understand? Don't get ahead of it. You're getting ahead of it. I'm still over here and you're looking that way. I, wherever my pen is is where I want your eyes. Move your head. Push your eyes. Stay on the pen. So I'm going to do one more task, okay? Absolutely. With your eyes, okay? Absolutely. So what we're going to do is, I'm very similar, I want you to follow that. I'm going to bring it around twice, and I'm going to bring it in close to your nose. Okay. I'm not going to touch your nose. That's okay, okay? whatever you need to do. Follow it just like you were before, okay? You're not following. Okay, follow it just like we were before. Relax for just one second for me.
Yeah, we're right there. Okay. Here, you taking notes? Yeah. Mental notes or written notes? Alright. Let's see how it comes out. Come right here for me. Absolutely. Go ahead and stand. Actually, we're going to start this. Stand right here on the. Stand right here for me. And face this way. Do you know your left from your right? I do. This is my left and this is my right. And do you see my line in front of you? I do. It's right diagonal. Okay. What color is it? Yellow. So what I want you to do is go ahead and put your left foot on the line. Go okay. ahead. I have fallen arch. I will, I will, I will walk this. Okay. But if my right foot goes a little bit that way, it's okay. because I have fallen arches. I'm not diagnosed. I'm gonna try my best to do okay. this. Okay. But I use the foot insert sometimes. Okay. I'm gonna try my best. Okay. But if this left foot goes this way, okay. just, just pay attention to this one. Go ahead and put your left foot on the line. Do me a favor. Do it like this. There we go. And go ahead and put your right foot in front like this. Heel the toe. Bring your, bring your heel back to your toe and bring your hands down by your side, okay? I want you to remain in this position throughout the instructions and demonstration. Absolutely, okay? sir. Do not start the task until I tell you to do so. Do you understand? Absolutely. Okay? When I tell you to begin and not before then, I'm gonna ask that you take nine heel to toe steps down the yellow line. Absolutely. Okay? When you reach the ninth step, I'm gonna ask that you leave your front foot on the line and with your rear foot, take a series of small steps to turn around. So I have to take nine of them. Okay, let, let me let me finish. You're gonna take because I'll, I'll demonstrate as well. You're gonna take nine steps. Leave your front foot on the line. Rear foot. Take small steps to turn around. Put your head so back. Like this. Not, not yet. Go ahead. Time. Put your feet back. Hands on by your side. Okay. Like I said, I'll instruct and then I'll demonstrate. Okay. You're gonna leave your front foot on the line. With your rear foot, you're gonna take small steps to turn around. You're then gonna take nine heel to toe steps back. Throughout the task, you're gonna look down at your feet. Keep your hands down by your side and count out loud with your mouth, okay? Absolutely, nine times. It, it's going to look like this, okay? One, two, three, all the way to the number nine. Small stuff to turn around. One, two, three, all the way to the number nine. Do you understand? When I turn around, I have to take small steps. Small steps, yes ma'am. If I take a big step, it'll be a fail? Well, it's not past fail, ma'am. Okay. But the instructions are leave your front foot on the line and with your rear foot take small steps to turn around. Absolutely. Okay? So if you understand the instructions and have no more questions, go ahead and begin. So I have to count to nine? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Keep your hands out by your side, please. Six. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Do I start over? As instructed. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, six. Come stand right here for me. And face towards my car, please. Okay? Step back like one step for me. There we go. Alright, so for this task, what I want you to do is put your feet together, hands down by your side. Okay? 
I want you to remain in this position throughout the instructions and demonstration. Absolutely, do sir. Do not start to talk until I ask you to Absolutely, do so. Do you understand? Sir. When I ask you to begin and not before then, Absolutely, you're going to pick sir. up whichever foot you're more comfortable with, your left or your right. Okay? When I demonstrate, I will demonstrate with my left. Okay? Absolutely. You're going to pick it up approximately six inches off the ground. That's about the size of a Coke can. Hands on by your side. Okay? A Coke can or a dollar bill. Okay? You're going to keep both legs straight with your hands down by your side and you're going to look at your toe. You're going to point your toe so your foot is parallel to the ground. Okay? And again, I will demonstrate this. You're then going to count out loud in the following manner. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. If you put your foot down prior to me telling you to stop, I want you to pick it up and continue counting from where you left off. So I, I pick my foot up about the size of a Coke or okay. a dollar bill? Yes. Okay. Okay. So it's going to look like this, okay? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Yes, sir. If you put your foot down for Artemis telling you to stop, 1,004, 1,005, do you understand? So from 1,000 to 1,000. Until, until I keep counting while you while until I tell you to stop. Okay, yes, sir. Straight leg. Look at your toe, please. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. That. Come over this way for me. I want you to stand right about here. Okay? Feet together. Okay? And I want you to point your fingers in front of you like this. Rotate your hands so your palms are upwards. And bring your hands down by your side. Okay? I want you to remain in this position throughout the instructions and demonstration. Do not start to talk until I ask you to do so. Do you Absolutely. Understand? Okay. When I give you the indicator to begin, and not before then, you're going to tip your head back and you're going to close your eyes. Okay? I'm then going to call either left or right. If I say left, you're going to bring up your left finger, touch the tip of your nose, the tip of your finger, and bring it immediately back down by your side. If I say right, you're going to bring your right finger up, touch the tip of the nose, the tip of your finger, and bring it immediately back down by your side. Absolutely. Okay? When I say so when you say left, I need to touch my nose. And when you say right, I need to touch my nose and bring it back down. Yes, exactly. Okay. So when I say tip your nose, I mean this portion right here. Right here. Okay, keep your hands by your side. So this is the right way. Right. I'm, okay. I'm, keep your hands by your side, please. This portion right here, okay? Not the bridge, not the nostrils. The top. Not the lip. The top. This point right here. Got it. Okay? When I say tip your finger, I mean this portion right here. Yes, sir. Not the pad, not the nail bed, not the If side. I touch here, this is okay. No. Nail, tip your, there you go. Okay, keep your hands down by your side. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Okay, when I tell you to begin, with your eyes closed, left, right. You understand? When I arch my finger, does it have to be straight? Straight, straight finger. Okay. You understand the instructions? I do, sir. Okay. Go ahead and begin. Left. Don't forget to bring it immediately back down by your side. Keep your eyes closed. Right. Don't forget to, there you go. Left. Don't forget to bring it immediately back down by your Sorry. side. Sorry. Right. Keep your eyes closed. Right. Left. So you can relax for a second. Go ahead and keep your feet together, hands down by your side for me, okay? What's your highest level of education? I graduated high school and I am I started college in January. So I am in the spring semester and I'll be finishing my first semester. Okay. So would it be safe to say that you know your English alphabet from the Absolutely. letter A to the letter Z? Absolutely. Okay. So I was one of the highest in my class. Awesome. So when I ask you to not before then. Absolutely. You're going to tip your head back and you're going to close your eyes. Not yet, when I tell you to. You're going to tip your head back and you're going to close your eyes. Okay. 
I then want you to count in the following, or sorry, do your alphabet in the following manner. I want you to do it slowly without singing or rhyming it, okay? So it's going to be like this, with your eyes closed, A, B, C, D, all the way completely to the letter D. Do you understand? Absolutely. All right, go ahead and tip your head back, close your eyes. Driving under the influence. Right? Okay. Nope, no. Nope. Hold on, hold on. Let's ask if they have a female to come pat her down. Oh, I'll do. You guys have a female? It's okay, I understand if a male pats me down, I'm okay with that. I have nothing on me, I don't care. Huh? How about this? I'm okay if a male pats me down. I'm, I'm staying, I don't have anything on me. Or, or in my car. I have a white female size 15. If you could pull me a separate signal 1 case number and cross references, signal 3. And if we could check for a female for a pat down. Okay, do, am I able to get consent for you guys to pat me down? Uh, the way our policy is written, I have to check to see if one's available. It's okay. Uh, I get it, but we have to find out first. Is your boyfriend parked over there? Yeah, he is. Okay. When I, when I get my car back, it's going to be a fee, right? Yeah. If, if he's over there... I don't know if he wants to come back over this way. Does. Do you, want, do you want him to take your phone and stuff so that it doesn't go to jail with you? Yes, please. How do I call my mom? You'll be able to call from inside the jail once we get to that point. <laughs> How long do I stay in there for? Can I grab a jacket or something? It's in my car. If he grabs it, can he get it? I just don't want to wear this in jail. Hey, Cole. Can we see if there's a jacket in there for her? Listen, 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 okay? I'll take it for you. During the first part, I'll let you wear it, okay? But they're not going to let you... Check me. The check right. me, they won't let me wear it. It's fine. They're not going to let you, okay? It's fine. They'll probably put you in, like, they look like scrubs, okay? It's going to be eight hours from this point, okay? And you'll be released. But during that time, they're probably going to put you in scrubs. You're going to affect my credit? Your credit is good in. My record? It's, listen, as well, of now, you're being charged with a traffic misdemeanor. Okay, whether you're found guilty or not, that's to be determined. Hey. <laughs> She's ours right now, if anything happens then. Thank you for getting my jacket. I appreciate it. You don't have to do that. Just put it back to the car for now. We'll let her put it on with you. No, other back side, other back seat. Okay. Are you weak one too? You weak one too? Phone. 
I'll be able to get it when I get released, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you want to keep it on you so you can call someone when you get out? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. And how long does this stay on my record for? I can, I can look it up for you. Thank you for asking my questions. The best to your ability. He's not gonna, he's not gonna like call other people over here, is he? Absolutely not. He don't have any friends. He doesn't have any friends? No, I'm not allowed to have friends. Because of him or because of your parents? A lot of things. So let me ask you, after you left here, do you have any alcohol? I, I had a drink about four hours ago. No, no, I'm saying after the crash. After the crash, no, sir. Just one drink, nothing else tonight? It was a vodka, so it was wine. Was it a huge vodka, though? Like... I think it was a little bigger than normal. Okay. I don't think it was huge, though. Probably about two ounces. And you didn't take any drugs or any medication? Absolutely not. I am, no I'm high behind the hypochondriac, so if I, if I take anything, I'm scared that my heart's gonna stop. Huh. That's fair. Just for you. We're waiting for the female, and I obviously can't leave you alone. But like, if I had someone else, or if this was someone else's call for some, when they're doing paperwork, as soon as she, I'd be typing, starting to type my paperwork, so that when we go, as we get there, that much more done. Um, if you want, I sent you the DUI packet, right? Uh, yeah. So if you want, I'll stand with her. If you want to start taking some of your notes that are fresh and doing the paperwork like we were doing the rest packet. Okay. It's not going to get turned in, but just write the packet as if we were turning it in. On yours? No, no, do it on yours. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to need mine. I have to stay in jail for eight hours, correct? Well, you, listen, you won't be in jail the whole time, okay? <laughs> the clock's already started. Okay, okay, sir. So every minute you stay in here ticks off that eight hours, okay? Okay, sir. The drive over there, which is going to be about 15 minutes, the clock ticks off that time, okay? You're going to go into a holding cell for a little bit while I do my paperwork, and then you'll go into the actual jail. But it will be eight hours from, call it 10 o'clock. Yes, sir. So you will be out at about 6 a.m. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there any way I can punch it from my record? That's all legal questions I can't answer. That. Thank you for answering any questions huh? I had. Yeah, actually, let me see real quick. Where's the key? I don't, I lost, I lost all the bushes out of transit. I did, sir. Here. You in can the talk right, to the right, on the right side. On the right side. I have a set of keys on my house. I don't want to wake my mom. <laughs> it's okay. They just... It's worse in the morning. If they can find them, it's a little bit better for them to... It's easier for them to tow it. I know it's easier for them to tow it. Them tow it. Yeah. They can't put it in... Uh, they can't put it in neutral without the cars parking. Right. right. Huh? <laughs> huh? I'm not worried about it. We got some talking to do anyway, so. I, we got some talking to do. I'm probably going to be at the bat for most of the rest of the night. Here, just come have a seat. We'll have someone check in a minute. Absolutely. Oh, watch that. It's oh, fine. I just have one question. Function. Function like F11. What's up? 
am I gonna be put in a cell with other girls? Oh, or is it gonna be by myself? Um, while you're with me, it depends on if there's other females there. Um, once you're booking, I can't tell you. Okay, thank I you. I they try to keep you guys kind of by yourselves, but... Thank you. What county, what, what jail am I going to? Palm Beach. Okay. That's in, like, near Clematis, right? No, that's the courthouse. It's at Gun Club and Commerce. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> what was the, the initial email I sent you with, like, all the training groups and stuff? Nobody's gonna call my mom until the morning, right? No, oh, ma'am. Not unless you want to. No. Listen, as far as I, you're 18 or 19? I'm 19. 19. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, you're a grown adult. Okay, unless thank you. Your boyfriend, if someone calls her, I, I just don't want her to wake up. I have no reason to call your mom. Okay, thank you. My mother I have to be called to pick me up, oh. or can my boyfriend pick me up? Anyone can pick you up. Okay, thank you. Or you can call down if you It doesn't. It doesn't cost anything. Well, for gas, gas. Because it's my sister's birthday tomorrow, and I just want to live. Listen, you're gonna get out at 6 a.m. Okay. There will be no box. Okay. And as long as you don't have any other open cases, sure. Like that, thank you. Wait out a hole just so you can sit for Okay. Starting from when you found me, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, Absolutely. <sighs> it doesn't. It doesn't cost anything to pick me up, right? No. Nope. It just costs something to pick up my car. Yeah, it's gonna cost to get your car. Okay. I'll be in handcuffs the whole time while I'm in the jail. No, no. Okay. You don't know? So, the, so we're going to go to the, the area where we have to go first. Yes, sir. You're going to sit there about 20 minutes. You're going to have 20 minutes to handcuffs after we remain on. Okay, that's fine. Right, then we'll do a quick interview process. Yes, sir. Yeah, and the handcuffs have to remain on. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yes. During that time, the handcuffs come off. As long as you're behaving. 
once we're done with the paperwork, the handcuffs have to go back on long enough to walk to the other side, and then the handcuffs come off of the rest of the Oh, okay, so all it would be like comfortable and everything. As well. Well, like as comfortable as it could be. Yeah, you're not gonna be. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you. You're I'm sorry, I came out asking so many questions. No, you're fine. Um, but when I get out, out of out, after I get out of the jail, um, I'll be able to have a court date. Yeah, you'll get a court date about 30 days out. You'll have a court date before we are done with you. And there's a possibility that it won't be on my record forever. That's a legal thing. You gotta talk to your. I'm friend. sorry. I'm sorry. No, I don't mind. I just I can't give you legal advice. I understand. Hey Samantha. Yes, sir. You for Samantha or Sam? <laughs> Either way you want to call me. Well, I'm asking you. I don't, I don't want to make you a call. Sam. Sam. Yeah. How long ago did you buy this car? I bought it in October 30th, 2021. Okay. It's registered to you? Yes, sir. It's all mine. Do you know a Sabrina Evans? No, sir. Why? Is that what's coming up with my car? No, it's. I think someone ran the wrong path. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, no, it's all mine. It, I take pride because I bought it myself. That's what you're proud about. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever had dealings with the police before, Samantha? No, sir. Just one time in Winston Charles, where it caused a disturbance in the woods, and he said he would give me a warning. And if I ever talked to a cop again, he said it would show up on my record. And that, um, I just had a warning, and that was all. And that it was just something that would come up if he ever stopped me in Winston Charles again. I only ask because I look at your DL picture and look kind of familiar. I used to work that area for a while. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just feel bad. Sir, do you know what time it is? Uh, it is 10.30. Okay, thank you.
Investigator, you conducted a 20 minute observation period? Yes, sir. During that time, subject taking anything by mouth and regurgitated? No, sir. 2259 is your time. You may begin. Today is March 13, 2023. I'm Investigator Ward of the Palm County Sheriff's Office. I arrested and charged the defendant, Samantha Jones, with DUI pursuant to Chapter 316.193 of Florida State Statutes Revised. Ma'am, please state your full name. My name is Samantha Maria Jones. Your address? Date of birth? Height and weight? 5'6", 155. Hair and eye color? Blonde, blue eyes. And your age? 19 years old. I am now requesting that you submit to an approved test of your breath for the purposes of determining the alcohol content. Will you submit? I do submit. Okay. What are the consequences if I don't submit? Okay. If you refuse to submit to the test I've requested of you, your driving privilege will be suspended for a period of one year for a first refusal, or 18 months if your driving privilege has been previously suspended, or if you've been previously fined under statute 327.35215 for refusing to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood. Additionally, if you refuse to take the test I requested of you, and if your driving privilege has been previously suspended, or if you've been previously fined under Statute 327.35215 for refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath, urine, or blood, you'll be committing a misdemeanor, in addition to any other penalties which can be imposed by law. Refusal to submit to the test I request is admissible to evidence in any criminal proceedings. Do you understand that? Refusal to submit by breath, urine, or blood is a what? So, if you refuse, Okay, because this is your first time, your license will be suspended for a period of one year. Okay. Also, your re choice to refuse can be used in any criminal proceedings henceforth. Do you understand that? I do understand. Okay. With that in mind, do you still want to give me a lawful sample of your breath? So, one year from this date, it will be gone? Yes. Well, for one year from today. <coughs> Refuse. Okay. Refusal. Refusal time is 23.02. Okay. Do you remember your Miranda rights as they were read to you on scene? No, sir. Okay. So, I am required to warn you before you make any statement that you have the following rights. You have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. Any statement must be freely and voluntarily given. You have the right to the presence of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statement during any questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, you're entitled to the presence of a court appointed lawyer before you make any statements during any questioning. If at any time during the interview you do not wish to answer any questions, you're privileged to remain silent. I can make no threats or promises to induce you to make a statement. This must be of your own free will. Any statement can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand those rights as they've been read to you? Yes, sir. I have. Um, I'm sorry. I have one question about the question before. Um, so what I'm understanding is that if I don't consent to a breathalyzed test um, for a year, my license will be suspended. Is that correct? Right. We're already beyond that. You, when I asked you, you said you weren't going to do it, so your license is going to be suspended for a period of one year. If I say yes, will you let me? It's, we're beyond that. You're beyond that? Yes. If I, I'm you, ready you've to already know. refused. I didn't understand. I'm so sorry, sir. You, you said you understood. I'm ready to do a breathalyzer test. I'm sorry. All right, so you're going to complete it. Absolutely. Okay.
with the breast ELISA test, will I be able to see the results or no? It will print out when everything's done. Cool, thank you. Hey, Samantha, I have some instructions for you. Absolutely. This package contains a sterile mouthpiece. I'll I open see. the package, insert one end into this black tube. Okay. The other end, I need you to form a tight seal with your lips. Blow steady and continuous until I tell you to stop. Okay. If you're blowing properly, you'll hear a steady tone from the instrument. Don't break the tone and we'll have to start again. Okay. I'm going to need a minimum of two breath samples, possibly more, but no less than two. Okay, I understand. That's just one more for the uh, instrument and I'll call you up, okay? I understand. Samantha, go ahead and stand up. Come on up here against the blue cabinet, please. Okay, tight seal in your lips. Blow for about 10 seconds. I'll tell you when to stop, okay? Absolutely. Ready? Blow. Blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay? You heard the tone start and stop, right? So when I say blow, start blowing and keep blowing and don't stop till I say stop, okay? Let the mouthpiece go in your mouth a little bit. Ready? Blow. Blow. Keep going, 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 keep going. Go ahead and have a seat, please. Thank you. Okay, Samantha, go ahead and stand up. Come on back up, please. Just like that last time, okay? Start blowing and keep right on blowing until I tell you to stop, okay? Ready? Blow. Blow. Keep going, okay? Try not to start and stop like that, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just relax. Take a breath and just blow like you did that last time. Can't stand up here and keep doing that, okay? Ready? Blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, okay? You gotta let the mouthpiece go in your mouth a little bit. Nice to say it like you're blowing up a balloon like you did last time. Blow. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You gotta keep blowing. I'm sorry. No, Samantha, listen to me. You can't suck in and blow out, suck in and blow out. You just gotta keep blowing straight out. Okay? Take a little bit of a breath. Blow. Keep going, 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 keep going. I do it? Yeah, go ahead and have a seat, please. Thank you. So, I reread you your Miranda rights. Do you, do you understand those rights as they've been read to you? <laughs> or do you want I don't want to think you repeat them again, but I don't. Listen, it's fine. If you need me to repeat them, I'll repeat them. Just one more time, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I'm required to warn you before you make any okay. statements that you have the following rights. You have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. Okay. Do you understand? I do understand. Any statement must be freely and voluntarily given. Do you understand? Okay. You have the right to the presence of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statements or during any questioning. Do you understand? I do understand. If you cannot afford a lawyer, you're entitled to the presence of a court-appointed lawyer before you make any statements and during any questioning. Do you I understand? understand. 
If at any time during the interview you do not wish to answer any questions, you are privileged to remain silent. I understand. I can make no threats or promises to induce you to make a statement. This must be of your own free will. You understand? I understand. Any statement can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand? I understand. And so overall, you understand your rights, correct? I do understand them. So right now we're just waiting for the machine that's going to tell you what your results were. Okay, and I won't know until I get out at 6 a.m., correct? Oh, no, no. As soon as they print out, we're going to tell you what they are. Okay, thank you. And 0.08 is the legal limit, correct? Zero 0.08 is the legal limit, yes ma'am, correct. Zero eight is the legal limit. Absolutely, sir. Okay. So your first breath sample was a point one five three. Your second breath breath sample was a point one four six. I understand. Okay, so it's just under twice the legal limit. So eight is the limit. It was a fifteen and a fourteen. Okay. I understand. So now, with your rights in mind, I'm now going to ask you some questions. You may answer some of all of or none of the following questions as you like. Do you understand? I do understand. Were you operating a motor vehicle at the time of the tra uh, at the time of the accident? I was operating a motor vehicle at the time of the traffic incident. And we're talking about the traffic incident where a vehicle pulled out in front of you and you lost control of the vehicle and ended up in the bushes, correct? Absolutely, sir. Okay. Where were you going? I was going from 10th Avenue. I turned onto Haverhill. And I was supposed to be, I turned on the Hypoluxo and I was supposed to be turning on to Hopper Hill. Okay. So where did you turn on to Hypoluxo from? From 10th Avenue. No, 1st Street. First I was coming from 10th Avenue, I dropped my friend off. Mm -hmm. After I dropped her off at 16th Court, I came from 16th Court, took 16th Court down past 10th Avenue, after 10th Avenue, I went back to Hopper Hill. So you were going to the Hopper Hill entrance of Whitson Trails, correct? Yes, sir. Alright. What street or highway were you on during the traffic incident? Hypoluxo and River Mill. What direction of travel were you going? I was going west. And where did you say you started at? I started at 10th Avenue from 16th Court. About what time did you start driving? Assuming I Ended at 9.30, 9.45, I started traveling at around 8.45. What time do you think it is right now? 11.10. What is today's date? March 13, 2023. What day of the week is it? It's a Monday. What county and city are you in now? Now I'm in West Palm Beach County. Um, I was told I was on Gun Club and Congress Avenue. When did you last eat? Eight a.m. What'd you have? Caesar salad. So you have Caesar salad at eight in the morning. Half. What have you been doing for the last three hours? Hanging out with my friend Elizabeth. How much do you weigh? 155 pounds. 
have you been drinking? I had one vodka and soda. I'd say now it's five hours ago. I believe there were two ounces of vodka in it. And you didn't drink any of that Crown Royal apple that was in the back of your car? There was no Crown Royal apple in the back of my car. No, so we didn't pull a bottle out of the back seat of your car? Nope. So where did we pull it from? Nowhere. About okay. well, what time did you have your drink? I would say about 530. How did you consume it? Did you sip it, chug it, take a shot? I declined to answer. Can you feel the effects of alcohol now? Absolutely not. Do you believe you're under the influence now? Absolutely not. Have you consumed any alcohol since the traffic incident? Absolutely not. And the car you were driving is registered to you, correct? Completely under my name. Okay. And you left the scene to go get your boyfriend and paperwork, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Um, what line of work are you in? I'm a hostess in restaurant industry, in the resort industry. When did you last work? I don't remember. Do you have any physical defects or injuries? But no physical defects or injuries? No, sir. Did you receive a bump on the head recently? Absolutely not. Were you involved in an accident today? I was involved in an accident today. I'm sorry, was that a yes? Yes, sir. And was there airbag deployment? No, sir. Were you injured in that accident? No, uh, yes, mentally I was injured. Okay, but no physical injuries? No, sir. Have you taken any drugs or smoked any marijuana today? No marijuana, and I consumed an alcoholic drink about five hours ago. Have you seen a doctor or dentist today? No. Have you taken any prescription medications today? Do you have epilepsy? No, sir. Glass eye? No, sir. False teeth? No, sir. Ear infection? I think so. But nothing diagnosed? No, sir. Inner ear trouble? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Inner ear trouble? Inner ear trouble? No. Uh, maybe a little bit um, my ear has had a lot of um, congestion which goes along with my voice as well diabetes Do you have any problems with your eyes that are not corrected by glasses? Diagnosis. I do have problems with my eyes. What? Um, every time I have an eye test, every time there's a picture taken of me, I have red eyes. Um, I think there's something wrong with my eyes.
Uh, we've never diagnosed it because my mother doesn't, um, I just, I haven't had the resources necessary to figure out what is wrong with my eyes. Um, but I don't think my eyesight is completely right. I don't think it's wrong completely, but I do think there's something wrong with it. And do you take insulin? I do not. Have you ever had a driver's license in any state outside of Florida? Absolutely not. Um, that will be this interview. Thank you. That concludes the test time. That is 23-22. Nope, we're going to walk all the way out here.